These are some kale seedlings we have started about a month ago. We started them on the porch because it's warm outside. Well, on some of the really hot days, we did take them indoors, even though the kale can withstand that heat. Just thought it would be nice to the plants. Bringing them back out, we noticed we had a very high level of aphids on the plants. Now, aphids are very tiny little bugs. In this instance, they're white and yellow, and you can see them crawling around. Sometimes you have black aphids, and I believe there's a couple of other color variations of the aphid. Now, what the aphid is doing, it's not eating the leaves, it's not chopping on the stalk or trying to cut the plant down. It's simply attaching itself to the leaves and sucking the juice out of the leaves, similar to what a tick may do to you if you get a tick on you. So we want to get rid of the aphids. Now, there's a couple of different methods that you can go about doing this. One is you can go get a harsh chemical and spray on your plants whether in a container or in the garden. This is not just a container issue. You can have aphids in an actual garden, raised bed, traditional ground garden, whatever the case may be. But keep in mind with those harmful chemicals, that is going to kill everything in its path, good bugs and bad bugs. So one of the things you can do here is you can take a pump sprayer or one of these hand sprayers, fill it with water and a couple of drops of liquid dirt dish detergent and spray on the top of leaves, under the leaves and anywhere where you see the bugs. This will help kill the aphids off. You can also simply just take and flap the, the leaves back and forth. Now that will only dislodge the loose ones. You're still gonna have a lot of the bugs in there. Another method that can be tedious is just taking your hand and pushing and killing the bugs. You can also take a garden hose and blast them. By blasting them with that hose, you're gonna dislodge a lot more. You may not get all of them in the first application. But a combination of all of these, minus the harmful chemicals, can greatly reduce the uh, amount of, of aphids on your plants. Now, one of the insects that greatly likes to eat on aphids is the ladybug. So if you can introduce ladybugs into your garden, that is also a great defense on controlling the harmful bug that is the aphid. For more information, please visit thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com.